Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day one of Stencil Month, bringing the monthly themes back. Had a lot of fun last month, so here we are. This video was actually created for the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, so big thanks to Simon for allowing me to share it here as well. Today I'm going to be creating with this fun layered stencil set called Hearts in a Heart. There are five stencils in this set. You have the basic heart shape, and then you have four layers that have uh, individual hearts kind of randomly kind of jumbled about inside that heart shape. So I'm going to be creating a five by seven card today, and I'm going to be ink blending directly on my card front. So this is a folded five by seven card. It's a little bit hard to see right now with my bright lights, but once I start blending, you'll be able to see what I've done here. I'm starting with the color rose and I'm going to bring it in on kind of just like one little corner of this heart. I'm starting with the solid heart shape so that I can get that defined shape for all of the jumbled hearts to go inside. So I've got that pink shade on there and I put it on kind of a fairly light application. I'm now using Sunbeam, such a great yellow shade, and I'm going to bring that in next to the pink shade and overlap them so that I get a little bit of an orange color in between. And I'm going to extend that yellow over into the center of the heart. I'm kind of thinking ahead that I've got four colors here, so I need to cover about a quarter of the heart with each color. So I'm bringing that yellow over, so I should about have half the heart covered with, with color right now. I'm then using the color mist, which is sort of a kind of a aqua blue shade. And as I bring it in over that yellow, it's going to create a beautiful green shade. Now this was a brand new ink pad, so it was very juicy. So I made sure to tap off my brush before bringing it over to the heart. For the last color, I'm using the color violet and I'm bringing this purple shade just in that corner that's empty that doesn't have any color right now and I'm letting it extend over into the pink shade and a little bit into the center of that heart as well. I want the colors to start mixing and giving me some additional color blends as they overlap. So now I'm going to lift off this outer stencil and it's going to reveal that heart shape and this is going to be the basic design of our card. We're just going to work on those elements inside the heart now. So now I'm taking this one of the layered stencils and you can see there's the outer heart shape that's etched on the stencil, which helps you get it aligned just right. And I'm going to then ink over these sections in the exact same manner. And what I'm doing here is I want there to be a more intense application of color. I've sped up the video a lot here. Hopefully it's not uh, making, making your eyes go a little funny, but basically I'm ink blending over in the same colors, kind of in the same sections, but I'm applying more ink so that I have more intensity and then you get those smaller heart shapes. So I love the idea of having a, a stencil, a stenciled background where you've got the the plain cardstock ink blended and then you have the stencil design ink blended over in more intense ink so that you get kind of that tone on tone effect and I wanted to play with that idea by having multiple colors overlapping and so you sort of get the the mix of the colors over other sections like I'm I'm using basically that same application with the pink the yellow the aqua and then the purple kind of in the same area, but I'm also allowing those colors to shift a tiny bit so that we get a little bit more interest as those colors overlap and change in intensity. So I'm adding on all of these other layers. I think I'm up to my third layer of hearts here and things are starting to come together and form that jumble of hearts inside. I, I really love how this turned out. I, I don't think I've done ink blending quite like this before in the past. That was a lot of fun. By the way, I did use post-it tape to hold down the stencils as I did all my blending. And I ended up actually adding a little more post-it tape on the outer edges of my card, just because my fingers were getting a little bit inky. And I wanted to make sure I didn't get any accidental fingerprints on this very, very white card. So I've finished up all of the hearts on the inside and now I'm going to take that solid heart that's included in the stencil set. It's just that cutout area from the outer 
shape I did earlier. And I'm taking the color flannel and adding a gray shadow off to one side and the bottom of the heart. This is going to give it a look of like the, the heart is popped up off the front of this card. Even though it's completely a one layer card at this point, there are no additional layers. This is sort of a faux shadow effect and it's, I, it's going to give it a really cool look. So I did it on the kind of that bottom right hand side and then I ended up putting the stencil back on top because I wanted to add a little bit of shadow just coming off the, the left hand side of the heart on the top. Just a little peak of shadow out the top there. For my greeting on the card, I'm using the Hello Beautiful Gorgeous die set, and I'm just using the word Hello. It's the perfect little size to nestle in on the center of this heart. And I cut it out four times out of white cardstock and then stacked them on top of each other with a little bit of liquid glue. This is going to give my die cut some, some uh, a substantial look. It's a way to make it look like it's popped up off the card without having to deal with little tiny bits of foam tape or things like that behind this delicate die cut. So I am gluing this on with a little bit of liquid glue and that is going to finish my card for today. Super simple and easy. I'm letting all those beautiful colors speak for themselves on this very clean and simple card. Thanks so much for joining me today. All of the supplies I've used in this video, including the stencil set, the inks, uh, the blending brushes are all listed down below in the supplies. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you all in another video very soon.